Alright, hey guys, it's me again, and today we're going to talk about my Nukavar build. I know some of you guys asked me about it in my hard mode AMA video, and here it is. I'm surprised I didn't have a video up on this already on the channel, but this is a pretty, pretty solid and very satisfying build. And what it's based around is Vara's Concentrated Arrow Augment, and what it does is instead of Artemis Bow shooting seven arrows at once, it shoots only one arrow, but if that arrow gets a headshot, it does a massive, massive explosion, and the explosion actually has its own base damage, as well as it's affected by range mods, so we can make the AoE very, very large. On top of that, the explosion has no damage fall off, and it's silent and doesn't deal any self-stagger of any kind. This is my go-to arbitrations build for the most part, and honestly, this scales way better than I thought it did. This thing basically makes the Brahma look like a toy, and for the most part, when I was saying in that video that abilities are just straight up better than weapons this is clear proof of that so i'm surprised that more people don't use this augment but at the same time with the whole Korra meta going on Korra is basically a more brain dead version of this so at least now i can kind of understand why people don't use it but even before i'm surprised people didn't use this more because it's a really great augment now i decided to take this build into an 80 minute mod uh, as you're seeing in the background right now and honestly, I had no trouble killing any of the enemies. Like, the only issues that I did run into were energy leeches and nullifiers. And more so energy leeches, but that's mainly on me. Because I have my graphic settings turned down uh, lower to get higher frame rate. And higher frame rate in this game actually reduces, like, a lot of input lag. But me t disabling particle effects also disables the orange outline that Xmas units normally have. But because of that, I was completely unable to see the energy leeches. So, and they were just wrecking me, because for the most part, to get more energy, I had to, like, re disengage, you know, retreat to somewhere safe, hit a, like, prime death orb, or, like, pop down an energy pizza and just wait f wait a few minutes. And then I'd have to re-engage, just to find, like, maybe more energy leeches, because of the increased spawn rate in hard mode. It also didn't help that my loadout wasn't very optimized for doing an endurance run, and that's because I wasn't originally planning on doing an endurance run anyways. But due to the increased spawns in hard mode, the survival actually is a lot of fun. I just kept going and going. Uh, but it had my loadout been more optimized for doing an endurance run, I'd be able to go a lot further than 80 minutes. So this is the build I'm running, and it mainly focuses on range and efficiency. Now, now we need a lot of efficiency, mainly because we're going to be casting abilities constantly. We're going to be using Sleep Arrow to line up an easy headshot. Of course, we're going to be shooting Artemis Bow, and the, the Artemis Bow consumes energy per shot. As well as we're going to have Prowl for survivability. Now you may see that I have more range than I do power strength. And that's because like this does quite a bit of damage. Uh, and since like I can get what 16.45 meters with just the range I have right now. That's a huge amount of AOE on concentrated arrow. And remember this goes through walls. So that's a lot of AOE. And on top of that this explosion here benefits from things like hunter munitions. Uh, so it's like damage isn't really an issue ever so like even going for more power strength I just recommend you go for more aoe instead Because like the single target on this is very nice already So why not just make it bigger and as far as duration goes you just want to keep your duration above 40% Just so you can get the lowest drain possible on prowl because we have max efficiency now as far as my ore goes and uh, my, my exilis here or this doesn't do anything Mainly because I'm going to be using Hunter Munitions and Viral as my main source of damage on Artemis Bow. And enemy sense, this is nice for when your companion dies. Though I was using a Kubro, specifically a Chessa Kubro. And in case you guys don't know, Chessa Kubros can desecrate the enemies, basically. So it's like a pocket Necros is just lower chance of success, basically. And the reason I had Chessa Kubro here was to increase life support drops. Because even though the enemy spawns are like massively increased, it still feels like the life support drops are very few and far between. It feels like, so basically, if you're you've played a solo survival, the life support drops feel like the solo survival would, except there's more enemies. So it's almost like the drops are reduced. So that's why I had Chester Kubro just to make my life a little bit easier. But you can use whatever uh, companion you want. Now, as far as arcanes go, I did change this after the fact. I was originally running primary charger and blade charger, but I don't recommend you run that. I re instead recommend you run energy eyes, uh, mainly to combat energy leeches a little bit, and rage, mainly because you're going to be hitting, getting headshots anyways, and the extra damage is just kind of nice. But as you saw in the footage in the background, it wasn't really needed, but it's just a nice thing to have. 
And as far as Artemis Bow goes, this is the build. It's just a standard hybrid build with hardy munitions and viral. And you guys know how I feel about viral. I don't use it very often, but on Artemis Bow, it's it's very very nice. Right? You can you can get a huge massive massive damage over time uh, with Artemis Bow, and especially with that explosion. It, it's basically like even without the augment, it's just a t pocket Tigress Prime. So with the explosion, it's just it's just huge. It's amazing. It's awesome. And this is what I recommend as just a general use Artemis bow. Now, as far as my loadout goes, it's again not very optimized for doing an endurance run. Uh, but for the most part, I wouldn't recommend you run a primary anyways. But if you were gonna run a primary, it'd probably be the miter with its like null fire destroying augment. Uh, but thing is, with if you're using Artemis bow, you have to turn it off to use your primary. Uh, so you should be more focused on your secondary and melee. But for your secondary, you should just bring something that easily, easily takes down nullifier bubbles. Something like the Synode Gamma Core or something like that. And I was using the Strofa just because it hit a wide area. And this took care of the glass enemies from Nightwave really easily. Uh, but because of its damage fall off, it really sucks. It's not the best thing to go and pop uh, nullifier shields. So that's what you should use your secondary for. But other than that, this is okay. I probably just use the Redeemer instead because it fixes both of those problems. But this has a super large hitbox, so it's at least easy to hit. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.